Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube Creative Studio. I'm so happy you decided to spend some time with me and with my crocheting. My name is Sonia and uh, today I would like to show you how to crochet this very cozy and toasty scarf. The pattern is super perfect and easy. It's a great project for very beginners. The written pattern is available for free on my blog and the pattern notes you will find in the box below as always. In case of any questions please don't hesitate to contact me. You can put the comment in the box below or you can reach me on my Facebook page, Instagram or Pinterest. You will find the links uh, uh, as well below the video tutorial. I will use this yarn, Cartopu Melange wool, and I already used this yarn for my slouchy hat. Again, I will give you the link how to crochet this amazing, cozy and a reversible slouchy hat in the box below. So I will use the same yarn, the same hook and very similar pattern. It's 80% acrylic and 20% wool and in one 100 uh, ball uh, grams ball there are 170 meters 185 yards and uh, I will use this uh, very beautiful color it's a uh, like blue gray uh, white combination and it uh, it's like a uh, shiny silver shining. I will use 5.5 millimeters crochet hook which is a bit bigger than the recommended hook. You will need some scissors and a sewing needle and I have also the tape measure so you will know the what is the length of my scarf. So let's get started my crochet friends. It's super super easy. Let's make a slip knot and then foundation chain. Let's make foundation chain as long as you wish. The length will be the width of your scarf, okay? So I will crochet 20 chains, okay? And let me measure 20 chains. So the length is uh, 19 centimeters 7.4 inches so if you want to have your scarf wider chain more if you want it narrower chain less chains chain one and turn your work now i will work in this third loop it's or sometimes it's called a bump and it's behind the front and back loop and i will place one single crochet in each bump okay so turn your foundation chain down towards yourself and down find the bump and place one single crochet in this bump once you finish it you will see how nice and look at it of your scarf you just created perfect and it's very stretchy and light then uh, I will make trebles. I will work in back loop. Okay. So, um, okay, sorry. We need two chains at the beginning. I don't count chain or two chains as a stitch. Okay, so chain two, yarn over twice, then your work. This is it. And let's place one treble into each single crochet from the previous row and work in back loops only. Perfect. Yarn over twice. Work in back loop. Find the back loop and place one treble in next stitch. Yarn over twice. Find the back loop and place a treble into the next stitch. So I started with 20 chains 
in the first row we have 20 single crochets and now at the end of this row you will have 20 trebles and this is it I'm at the end of this row row number two and I just finished the 20th treble chain one don't count chain one as a stitch and then your work we will work single crochet stitches back loops only in each stitch so one single crochet in each stitch from the previous row you will have 20 single crochets so let me remind you we always work in back loop we turn the work when we finish the row and I don't count chain one or chain two as a stitch so the pattern is super easy absolutely perfect for beginners easy to repeat just these two rows row number two and three and this is it my crochet friends it's super easy so I will show you what you can create from one ball now I measure this sample so these two rows measure four centimeters okay so this is for two rows it's one and a half inch or four centimeters so you can very easily continue use the same crochet hook and uh, I will meet you here I am once I'm at the end of the scarf so chain two yarn over twice and then your work now place one treble in each stitch from the previous row work in back loop it's super easy and the final result is amazing you can make this scarf for you for your friends for your kids or for your grandchildren I love it chain one then your work and let's place a single crochet back loop only in each stitch so at the end you will have a row with single crochet stitches so this is my last row I started with single crochet stitches I will finish with single crochet stitches just make sure you have 20 stitches in each row and uh, if you like it's optional you can make one more row with slip stitchings okay so I'm at the end you see we just have two rows and this is the rest of ball perfect so as I told you I already used this yarn for my slouchy hat and I used one ball for the scarf and the rest of the ball from the hat okay I will finish the scarf with slip stitches so place one slip stitch into each stitch work in back 
and front loop okay so on the top of the uh, single crochet stitches okay so this is it last row slip stitches perfect I love it <laughs> I love to uh, finish my projects with uh, slip stitching as the last row it just makes uh, the ends um, of your projects uh, more neat and tidy so that's why I love to finish my projects with uh, slip stitching perfect now you can cut the yarn and hide the end okay so go through the chain on side and hide the end nicely and invisibly back and forth and hooray <laughs> we are done so I use cartopu melange wool this uh, yarn has 20% uh, wool so it's very light and very pleasant the scarf is so cozy and uh, I used 5.5 millimeters crochet hook I used the same yarn the same crochet hook for the head and this is the point uh, where I finished my one ball I finished one ball and then the rest of ball from the head so there are 11 rows more than um, the one ball scarf okay so I will give you two measurements one measurement is for one ball scarf okay I will fold the scarf in half for the bet um, easier measurement in half so this is the half of the scarf and uh, okay fold it the tape measure in half so the final length is 114 centimeters 44.5 inches okay so this is the length you can create from one ball okay one ball and now I will measure the scarf which I made okay so scarf with one ball and the rest of ball which I have from the slouchy hat okay and the final length is 140 centimeters 55 inches so this is it my crochet friends this is uh, the nice spring or four set created from two balls one ball for scarf one ball for hat and the width is 19 centimeters 7.5 inches so I would recommend you to start with the hat and the finish the scarf and you can make of course the length um, as you wish is absolutely up to you so this is the end of my video tutorial my crochet friends you can very easily create a scarf uh, you, you will um, alternate single crochet and trebles and uh, work in back loop only and this is it in case of any questions please don't hesitate to contact me I always love your feedbacks so put the comment in the box below this video tutorial and uh, if you like this video tutorial please give me your thumb up 
and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel you see the scarf is so cozy I think it will be perfect for this weather what do you think so please let me know uh, what the color you choose if you like this pattern and I will be very happy if you will share the pictures of your scarf so take care and bye for now bye bye